Welcome to the CUDA Sign on the Block tutorials. This tutorial is going to cover how to have attributes with each product and how to keep stock for those attributes so that way you can keep an inventory on the drop down attributes which is not something that just the normal product in VirtuMart does. Here on our front end we're in sample category 1 and we've already created our product which is dress. Just created it as a basic product with an image and a description and a price. Now if we go to our administration, we're in VirtuMart and we're showing a list of our products and here we see our product dress. Now we're going to get started, we're going to click on the product title and you'll notice here at the top we have three options. These options only show once you've actually created a product. If you're creating a new product you fill out all the information and then you'll need to apply or save for these to show um, because they won't show until the product's been saved. We're going to add an attribute. Now the attribute we're going to enter for our dresses is size. We have three sizes, small, medium, and large. And we want to keep track of the inventory for those three sizes. So we'll put size in here and we'll hit save. Now if there's already a product that you've created for your store that uses a size attribute, it will already be shown here. Um, so you'll, you'll come up with a notice that it's already created and um, you won't need to create it more than once um, for your entire store. We're going to hit our dress link, go back to the title of our product, and we're back to edit the dress product. You'll notice now the three icons have turned into four and there's a new item here. And that new item is going to be the attribute item that we're going to create. So we hit new item. And then we're going to fill out the information for this new item. Now you can leave description and images and everything blank because it'll just be filled in by your main item which is dress. This is just an, the drop down item off of that. So we're going to enter the SKU. We're going to do dress and small and we're going to do dress small here and we're going to we can have individual prices for each we're just going to choose thirty dollars and then we just need to go to our item status tab scroll down to the bottom and you'll see your attribute here size so we're going to do an S for small something we might also want to offer is another different type of drop down for this product as well um, for the individual small dress, if we've got an option such as a ribbon or a bow, you can choose that here. So we'll go ahead and just put ribbon. Um, if you're doing any kind of monogramming or printing on one, this is where you could choose those kind of options. So we're going to do go ribbon. We're going to do a small ribbon. Actually, we'll give them the choice for no ribbon. Small ribbon. and a large ribbon and that's going to be five dollars extra. We also want to put in a stock for this small so we have small five small dresses on hand right now so we're going to put five and then we'll hit save shows us the summary of what we just saved we'll view the product list now you'll notice our dress product now has an item information tab if we click on that, you'll see the drop down that we just created. Now we also have a medium. Well, we don't want to, we could just go ahead and click new and add the new item that way. But since it's going to use a lot of the same settings that the small dress did, we're going to just hit clone product. It'll auto fill everything you need for you, except for we're going to change this to medium. And then we're going to go to our item status page we have nine of these scroll all the way down the bottom our item attribute is medium gonna go ahead and hit save shows our summary go to the product list our dress item we will hit item information to view the two that we just have so we just created those two now we just need to create the large we're gonna clone the product and do the same thing we've done twice now we're going to change this to a unique SKU for large. 
you can leave this at just dress or you can have it specific. So we'll do large there. We're going to actually charge $40 for a large. Go to item status. We have 12 of these. Scroll all the way down and let it know that your attribute is large. We hit apply, which will actually just save it and keep on the editing. So then we can hit cancel and it'll take us back to our product list. Now we show our three drop downs that we've created. If we go to our front end and we refresh, it'll now show the three different sizes that we have as well as the prices. And everything will adjust based on what we choose. Add it to our cart and here it will show you. Purchased a small dress with a small ribbon.